Welcome to the real Italy. Listen to the beautiful music. See the smiling faces. And taste our delicious fresh fried truck. And join in the fun and excitement of the real Italy. It's festa time again. Bring your children, your partner, your neighbors, and even your dog. By our tempting food, dance, and traditional dress. This August weekend in Porto Cesa. It doesn't get any better than this. Hope to see you here. A letter from Officer Kotzi. I never thought he would be writing a letter to me. This is going to be fun. Where did I put my paper knife? Ah, there we go. Now let's see what he has to say. Miss Myers, I want to thank you for your assistance in the Rinaldo case. I'm also deeply grateful for your testimony in court. What has happened to him? Is he really writing to thank me? I want to apologize for the way I treated you when we first met. Wow, how gracious of him. But I'm not writing this letter to simply apologize. Here it comes. Every year, our little town celebrates the feast day of Maria. We would like to invite you to come and celebrate with us on the 17th of August. Everybody will be happy to see you. What date is it today? It's August the 16th, so the feast day is tomorrow. I better hurry. Matt? Matthew? What? Can you give me the phone number for a taxi, please? I gave her the business card yesterday. I don't have any spare ones. Ugh. I need a vacation. It should be here, somewhere. Where did I put the damn card holder? Ah, here it is. Schindler's Taxis. I'll give them a call. strange that nobody is here to meet me. I hope I haven't mixed up the dates. There you are, Miss Myers. Hello, Herman. I was afraid I'd miss you. Luigi asked me to come and tell you he would be late. Oh, what happened? I don't know. Some urgent business, I guess. But you can wait for him at the cafe. Let me take your luggage. I will keep it safe until everything is sorted with your accommodation. Thank you, Herman. I'm sorry, Miss Myers, but I need to run. So I'll see you later. See you. How strange. It looks like I have no choice but to wait for Luigi at the cafe. Lino? Oh, it's good to see you. Good afternoon, Miss Myers. Weren't you working on that train? Yes, well, it's a long story. Are you okay? You look tired. I've been going through a difficult time in my life. Excuse me, I need to go. But... What's wrong with everyone in Porto Cesso today? Anyway, I should go to the cafe. Oh, it's closed. Great. And what am I supposed to do now? I suppose I'll take a look around. Great, I found a scissors. A pair of scissors? And it's covered in blood. Something is definitely going on here. Maybe this is the reason why the police are so busy and the cafe is closed. Anna, I'm so glad you made it to Porto Cheso. Luigi, where have you been? What is going on here? I'm sorry, Anna. It's just that everyone is very busy with the festival. I thought something serious must have happened. Why did you think that? Well, because everybody seems so busy. And I found these scissors covered in blood. Can I have a look? Oh, don't worry, Anna. I think these belong to the doctor. A baby was born recently. Oh, really? That's wonderful. Who is the mother? It's Chloe Como. I don't think you know her. She lives in a room right above the cafe. Oh, I love newborn babies. Can you introduce me to her and her baby? I'm afraid not. Why? Did something happen? No, no. Everything is fine. It's just that she doesn't want to see anybody. And she doesn't want anyone to see her child. Why is that? Oh, 
It's a long and complicated story. I'll tell you everything about it later, but now we need to run to the festival. Everybody is waiting for us in the town square. We're almost there. It's just around the corner. Amazing! I didn't think the festival would be so big. This is only the beginning. Do you see this giant frying pan? This is the central stage of our festival. We'll be serving tons of fresh fish to the locals and our guests. Incredible! Uh, buongiorno, Miss Myers. Good afternoon, Officer Cozzi. Let me introduce you to my wife, Theodora. Ah, oh, it's so nice to meet you. At last, I get to meet the legendary Anna Myers. The cracker of criminal cases. Oh, I think you're overestimating my contribution. Officer Cozzi and Luigi did all the hard work. Oh, don't be so shy. We couldn't have done it without you, Anna. Bono. Enough with the pleasantries. This festival is nothing but an excuse for sinful excess. I've always hated it, but this year... Forgive me, Lord, it is worse than ever. Theodora, darling, it is just a festival. I'm telling you, our town is becoming the Sodom and Gomorrah of Italy. Theodora, you need to relax. Talk to people, have fun here and there. Oh, you sure know how to have fun. Theodora. The time will come and all will be punished for their sins, Giuseppe. My dear, wait. Luigi, what is she talking about? Uh, don't pay any attention to her. This is just the way she is. <laughs> Let's just enjoy the festival. Why don't we try our skills at the shell game? Yes, why not? Miss Myers, are you enjoying the festival? Yes, I'm loving it. I'm glad to hear that. May I apologize for Theodora's behavior? I don't know what's gotten into her. She is usually a gracious and charming woman. I'm sure she is, Officer Cozzi. You know, I would like to invite you to our home this evening. What do you say? I would be delighted. Luigi, you're invited as well. Buono, Signor Cozzi. Good. See you later, then. Officer Cozzi has become very... Sentimental. See, I always told you that he has a good heart. Oh, Anna, I want you to see the puppet show. You're going to love it. Sounds interesting. Wow, that was cryptic. I wouldn't have figured out the culprit. You would have, eventually. Miss Myers, Luigi, did you happen to see Adriano? I can't find him anywhere. I haven't seen him all day. He is so unreliable. We are almost out of trout. He was supposed to bring some from the harbor. Damn, Adriano. What now? Without the fish, the festival will be ruined. Don't worry, Herman. We will go to the harbor and find him. Grazie, Luigi. Luigi, look. There are boxes full of fish, but no sign of Adriano. That drunkard. He's probably at home sleeping, as usual. Let's go and wake him up. Where does he live? He lives in a small bungalow on the other side of the cliff. This passage leads to his house.
Hey, Adriano, are you here? I bet he's sleeping. Let's go inside. Strange, there's nobody here. Let's look around. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Ah, uh, Luigi, come on. I just want to find Adriano. Great, I found a ticket. Hmm, a ticket to Palmer. Uh, uh, what are you doing in my house? Why are you searching through my things? Regina. What is going on, Luigi? Wait, Regina, calm down. We were just looking for Adriano. Ah, hey, ragazzo, give that ticket to me. It is mine. Oh, I'm really sorry. Here it is. I didn't... Give it back to me. Regina, I'm sorry for... It's Signora Valenti to you. Signora Valenti, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. We were looking for Adriano. We thought he might be at home. I found this ticket while looking for clues on Adriano's whereabouts. Are you finished? Well... Get out, then! Regina, do you know where Adriano might be? He's probably drunk in his sheepfold. A sheepfold? But we don't have any sheepfolds in Porto Cesso. Oh, really? You have no sense of humor, Luigi. Try looking for him in the church. Now get out! Luigi? Who was that? Adriano's wife? No, they just live together. How modern. Yes, and the townsfolk don't like them for that, as you can imagine. They seem like a strange couple. Yes, they are both quite the characters. Anyway, there is no sign of Adriano here. We'll have to deliver the trout by ourselves. Will you help me? Of course. Great, let's pick up the fish boxes at the harbor and bring them to the town square. I went down to the crib, and then suddenly somebody dragged up the rope. Don't act like you don't hear me, Giuseppe. Theodora suspects that Signor Cozzi might be the father of her child. I'm not the father. I met her only a few months ago.